Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. Today I'm going to be planning for the first week in March in my wellness planner. And the theme I'm going to go with, here's my here's my current week. Um, I will link that in the, just the cards up above, the plan with me for that. Um, March always feels like a green month to me. I know I'm a little bit of a seasonal planner and March has St. Patrick's Day, so I like to do a lot with pink and green. Um, and I wanted to incorporate lots of plants in this one. So I'm going to go with this Kaiser Craft sticker book. It's called Greenhouse and I will link my favorite sources for Kaiser Craft sticker books, online sources. Um, but it's full of all these beautiful minty green and a little bit of blue and these kind of warm pinks um, succulents. And I've used this book multiple times. It's got two copies of every page, but I try to just stick with one copy so that I always have another copy of the sticker. And you can see I've used a lot of these stickers. So I'm actually gonna combine it with the one of the recent um, Live Love Posh books has a succulent page in it, Posh Blooms and Icons. There's there's two copies of every page except this one. There's one copy of this page. But I think um, I can borrow a couple of these and integrate into the spread as well. So let's get started. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to stick mostly with the pinks and the greens, maybe stray a tiny little bit into the blues. Um, so let me grab my piece of wax paper and we'll get all my prompts and get going. So for those of you that are new, I started my wellness planning journey years ago with the very first Happy Planner Wellness Planner. And it was basically a vertical. A lot of the wellness and fitness planners now are basically a vertical, um, but they've changed the spacing of the boxes. So I print my own prompts on um, full sheet white sticker paper, which I always link in the description box. Um, but these are the prompts from the original wellness planner. Um, the bottom row of boxes had these prompts for daily journaling. And then along the um, left hand side here, it had currently prompts for the week. Um, so I have those as well. And I am going to film a video of um, how my process just using a spreadsheet program to make these prompts. I already have a video on how to kiss cut, um, but I, I just, I don't need more of these prompts yet and I have so many requests for different videos. So this is definitely on my list. I will be doing it um, hopefully here in the next few weeks. So there's a rotating um, once a week prompt this week's is How Quiet Time Empowered Me. Um, there used to be an exercise box up there. I always covered the word exercise with keto, so when I printed them, I just printed my own. And then at the bottom there were, like I said, the five um, currently prompts, which are these. And they're just one or two word they're just they're not really journaling they're just like I said they're currently so um, those are all my my prompts um, I always do food diary and exercise boxes in the middle row so let's go ahead and get those going I'm going to use um, and hydration I forgot hydration so I'm going to use my favorites the Wilson Wild sticker co stickers only I had um, a very kind person um, comment that these are no longer available. I went on um, to Etsy and that is correct. These are no longer available. So, but I did go on Etsy and search on water trackers and hydration trackers and there were lots and lots and lots of options. If you want to set up a vertical planner like I do um, as a health and wellness planner, just look for stickers in the, look in the description of the stickers and if it says that they are 1.5 inches wide, then that is what you need to fit into these boxes. These are 1.5 inches wide. That's all you need to look for. It doesn't matter really how tall they are. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on. Um, put on. I do my food journaling here, so I put four bullet points on there for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. And then on my days that I work out, which this week will be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, because I work out every other day, 
um, I put little boxes to write the information about my workout, how long and um, what the exercise bike tells me I did for calorie burn and all of that. So I am going to keep going, speed this up while I get all this boring stuff put on here and I'll be back. Well, I forgot to mention I'm going to use this roll of washi tape bullet points that I got from AliExpress, which is basically the Asian equivalent of Amazon. And um, I will link them in the description box below as well. Here's what we've got so far. A bunch of functional stuff put in. Next, I want to look for um, some words, some quotes, you know, my typical. So I like to look for a positive word and a feeling. I like to look for a weekend banner, um, something for above keto, and if there are any washi tape sticker strips to use um, quote-wise across the bottom. So I've got to use this one. Our love grows with every memory we make. Although, yeah, I'm kind of all over the place with the pinks. This this um, pink actually isn't matching all that well, but I think I think I can live with it. So, friendship makes life more beautiful. Life is more beautiful with you beside me. I think even though I don't have any blue yet, I think I want this blue one. So maybe I can work in a couple of a little bit of blue with the succulents. And I, def I, do, I do, I think, want to go ahead and use this one because I just don't, I'm not feeling the friendship quote. And then for over here on the side, you guys know I like to use these um, for under my, my um, prompts, but I thought I would mix it up a little bit today and use um, some washi. So I pink picked these two washies and now I'm wondering if I should pick a blue one as well to help pull in more blue. I think I will. So I went ahead and added a blue washi, um, a third. So we'll just kind of rotate down through these. So knowing that right now the only blue I'm going to have is over here, that tells me I want to put my blue quote on this side. So we'll go ahead and center this one over here. And then I know this one has a quote, but I, I always feel like it looks kind of funny to have a colored long strip quote here and then just a little printed quote over there. So I usually end up putting a quote on either side. So we'll go ahead and put this one over here. And that tells me I need to move this journaling prompt up a little bit. I need to leave myself a little space. So I only have to decide what color washi tape I want to use there. Well, actually, let me see what words I have. Um, and that will help me then figure out my rotation of my washi tape. So for feeling, so I have these I can cut in half. So blessed, memories, love this, and positive word. Um, and I, I, I think I want to use perfect for my positive word, and here's why. I think the word perfect gets um, persecuted a little bit because everybody tells you, you know, don't, don't be a perfectionist, um, you don't have to be perfect, blah, blah, blah. But what about having a perfect day or a perfect sunset or... A perfect memory, something like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna help the word "perfect" out and use it as um, my positive word. And then for feeling, I'm gonna use "happy" um, because I have been happy lately. So and I want to focus on that. Okay, so there are my two words. So I've got a blue one and a green one. So if I use, look at my three washi tapes, I think on either side of the blue, I want the other two colors, the pink and green. So if I do pink, green, blue, pink, blue, green, something along those lines. And then let me see, is there a word for above keto? I could do love this. Like I said, I'm trying to stick to the pages that are already partially used. I don't really like any of those, so I think I'm gonna do love this. I'm just gonna cut it in half with a straight edge and a craft knife. Got a little more blue going on over here. That's good, that'll help. And then I think, I think we're gonna have to look somewhere else for a weekend banner. 
um, or just skip the weekend banner. I don't always put one on there. So, okay. So if I do happy there and I've got pink there, I want to start with green, pink, relatively speaking. So I thought what I would do is just kind of come across maybe two thirds of the way or three quarters. I guess that's more like three quarters, isn't it? <laughs> and then put my prompt on top of it kind of hanging off the edge. So let me actually make this more like I said, two thirds. Okay, next I need my word happy. Okay, I'm gonna go with pink next. I'm just gonna put this right down against happy, roughly lined up with watching. Okay, and then you guessed it, blue is next. And this is listening to, still listening to jazz. Loving my jazz. So the next word, uh, word I have is perfect, which is green. So I need to go ahead and do skip the order and do pink here. Um, and I am reading the next Ty Hutchinson book, which is Blood Grove. And perfect is my positive word. And then we'll do blue. And then green's the one I only have on there once, so we'll use green for how quiet time empowered me. So, positive word, perfect. Okay, so we'll come up here and we'll put love this. Uh, let's go up a little higher so I have enough room for that journaling prompt. And then we'll do our green stripe. How quiet time empowered me. So by working from the bottom up and the top down, I maximize the amount of space I have for that journaling prompt. Okay, so all that's left now is um, decorating and that's what the top row of box is for. So normally in my plan with me is I save decorating till last. In this particular planner, this is the one planner where I actually don't need to do that because all of my decorating has its own designated space. Um, <clears throat> anyway though, let me pull my wax paper just so that I can start grabbing things in the book that I like. Lots of little succulents down here. I could almost put a couple, but let's, I don't think I will. That's going to look pretty crowded if I do, I'm afraid. So, you are my best adventure. This one's kind of shaping up to be a romantic spread um, with these two quotes across the bottom. So, I could just go with it and... Um, grab these as well. Our love grows every memory we make. Life is beautiful. I like that for sure. My goodness, I've used almost that whole page. You can see why. Look at those. I remember using these, splitting them down the middle and putting half on either page. So pretty. So I could do that with some of these. Definitely use those. Okay, let's, I said I was going to use some Olive Love Posh too, but now that I'm really comparing them, a lot of the colors don't match. At least I'm getting more blue. Let me go back to this page and grab everything off of here. And why not? Might as well grab these. Might as well. So there we go. I think that's the first time I've ever completely emptied a page in a Kaiser Craft sticker book. I think I need a couple more quotes. So this is one square, so I could use this square. Where's that other page that had quotes? Um, let's go ahead and grab the other square one. And since I have the reddish one down here, I think this reddish one is going up here. And the more I'm looking at this pink, the more I'm thinking I'm gonna have to change it because I'm really not liking the way it's going with the spread. So I am actually, I'm just gonna make the call. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm going to speed this up while I do it real quick. Find, I don't think I have any in a color that's going to match. So I'm going to have to pull, I think, some black and white ones. I may have to do a pink spread next week so I can use these before they start coming off of there. I don't want to waste them. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with my normal, my sidebar stack up from Birds Fly Studio, which I'm pretty sure you can still get these and I'm just going to cut it apart. When in doubt, go with black and then I can use a colored highlighter to fill it in.
There we go. So much better. So much better. So I'm looking at the stickers I pulled. And I'm noticing that this one feels kind of blue. So I probably don't want to put it on the same page as this big hit of blue. But I have blue up here. So I'm thinking kind of strategically midway between. So if I put it... If I think about putting it about here... Uh, I definitely want, so that makes sense because then I've got red here and I can put red over here. Maybe I won't do a weekend banner. Maybe I'll just kind of put this here and I'm thinking I can put these maybe around it. So if I go kind of centered, then I can kind of go maybe more like this. And bring this one this way okay and then let's see that's this so I have two columns here I have a little less than I have like a column and a, um, three quarters there so I think I want to put this big one over here the other thing I can do is cut it in half um, which I love to do, but I'm thinking maybe not today. I'm thinking today we'll just leave them whole. And then we'll put this one over here. Maybe, I kind of want it up and down. I kind of want it more vertical. Kind of coming it up into that corner. Okay, these little guys can kind of get squeezed in all over. I just want to see, I normally have more words than that. I just want to see, I, th I don't think I'm actually going to need the Live Love Posh sticker book today. Um, skipping the weekend banner just because I think it's going to be hard to try to find colors that match. So let's just look for some little words maybe. Anything else? Smile, you and me. I don't know. I don't have a lot of space left so you know, I could maybe squeeze in happy or something, but I think, actually, yeah, I think I just want to put these on and call it good. So, I feel like since that guy has stuff around him, this guy should have stuff around him. That one matches most of these. So, but I gotta use it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Maybe up here. They're so close to the same. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, does it still count if I have room to put it back on a different page? If I put it on this page? Does it still count as the page being emptied? I don't know, that might be a stretch. I do kind of feel like I need more blue over there. Maybe, okay, can I lift this up? Moved that over a little bit. Okay, now, if I can get it off of there, there we go. Now I feel like I kind of have room for it up here. And then we'll put this one down here. There we go. Okay, noisy wax paper is gone. That's not bad. I kind of like it. It's pretty full, relatively full. It's just got a couple big quotes. Um, yeah. Okay, I think it's done. Let's put it back in my planner. There we go. So soft and pretty. I like it. All right, I hope you like this video. I hope it gives you some ideas on how to do some early, very early spring decorating in your health and wellness planner. If it does, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.